Javier Dominguez. Andrea Mengucci. 2018 Magic the Gathering World Champion. Mythic Imitational Champion. Alone, one of the best Magic players in the world. Together, unstoppable. unstoppable. All right, now comes the story time. Now comes <laughs> the story time. So, the first time I saw you, it was during PT Portland. It was 2015, and an uh, old teammate of mine, uh, Ben Friedman, he was playing the last round and he was playing against you, so I was actually rooted against you the first time I saw you. <laughs> the first time we actually told when was in Hawaii? Yeah, PT, what was it, Kaladesh? Kaladesh, yeah. I remember that PT, you just played the Sky Control, no one else played that deck. You were like, I'm gonna play Control, which you never do now, <laughs> and you play the deck that's different than everyone else. So I assume that you were like the kind of player that never plays a team deck, but yeah, well, you were obvious, I was obviously super wrong. Yeah, Pity Kaladesh <laughs> was a great, great <laughs> lesson for me. I just feel like every tournament is like a small adventure, and we've been playing together for a lot of tournaments already. Like it's been like, I don't know, two and a half years, three, yeah. since Kaladesh. You know, every tournament you play, if you, you keep playing with the same people, you eventually get closer, and I think that's, that's you know, how we ended here. I think we're great as a team because we are, in some, th uh, in some things we are very different, like almost opposite, and some of the things we are like very similar, you are a Spanish man, okay? <laughs> Spanish man, you know, I, I've learned through all this time that they need to rest. <laughs> so as a proper Spanish man, you take your time, you sleep until, uh, you know, I don't know, 10 a.m., then siesta. So I, I started respecting your times. You know, if you sleep, it's fine. I'm gonna play Magic Online through most of the morning and after lunch. And uh, yeah, that is, that is one of the things that, uh, that I think characterize you over me. <laughs> well, you are a very talented man, okay. which means you dress very well. You always have like, a lot of class. Mm -hmm. And whenever something bad happens, you start speaking Italian. Yes. So Javier, you are very good at uh, evaluating uh, um, testings in the big picture. Whereas I tend to focus on like small things. For example, I don't know, we played 20 games and uh, let's say in a few of these games something came up I kind of think uh, that's how it's gonna go up every time whereas you go like yeah maybe you know it's just those two cases you have to look at the bigger picture yeah for me it's the opposite like I struggle sometimes like making sure I know things like I'm it's very hard for me to decide like I know something or something's that way I tend to do a lot of circles around everything and you're like you know we're solving the issues, like this works this way, this works this way. I think that's good because we get, you know, like kind of the best of all the worlds. It is Andrea Mangucci. Congratulations, Andrea. You are the winner of $250,000 and the Mythic Invitational. So last March, I won the Mythic Invitational uh, 2019. I didn't really practice too much, so I kind of just trust, blindly trust uh, uh, you on the Esper deck. There I felt like the power of having such a, such a powerful teammate like you because the decklist was just perfect and I've just, you know, I practiced it uh, all the weeks after and I haven't found a single problem. And then up to the event where I won the event, I haven't lost, you know, like one, one game maybe with that deck. For me, watching you winning the, the Mythic Invitational was a very, uh, very emotional thing. Like, I was just there like, rooting for you like a lot, like, I don't really know how to express it, but it was like very intense. I remember like the games, it was like, come on, uh, ah. And it was like when you remember to win, you just remember like you coming like to, ah, just hugging you. And there was a very, very special moment. Well, maybe maybe Down the numbers are three, and oh, that's okay, gonna okay, do okay. it. And he is your world champion. Congratulations, Javier Dominguez. Yeah, for me, winning Worlds was obviously very special. Like, it's winning a tournament is always good, and it was Worlds, which is like a very special tournament itself. I'm pretty sure like you taught me how to play the deck, so for me, it was like, remember like you beat me in the mirror matches every time? Like, you remember when you played 100 that you beat me like 60-40? So yeah, it was very, very special just to be, be playing the game and suddenly just, you know, be a world champion. So what happened is that I entirely missed you winning the event. First time ever I go to Las Vegas. My father, he said, I want to come to Las Vegas with you. I said, okay, let's go. And then he said, on Sunday, we're going to go to the Grand Canyon. I'm like, it depends because if I, you know, make the top four, I don't want to come. And he said, no. And then after day one where I didn't do well, he said, I'm going to go buy the tickets for Sunday. Okay, so I said, okay, that's fine. 
just to make him happy, you know. I didn't really want to go to the canyon that much, but yeah. Also because it was like a 10 hour bus drive on one, and so whatever. What happened was that you made it up four, and I was like, no, Dad, I really want to watch up here. But of course, at that point, I was committed to go to the Grand Canyon. It was written that there was Wi-Fi, so like, all right, I might have, at least I watched the, 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 um, the tournament. Of course, it was a, you know, a trap that wasn't <laughs> yeah. Wi-Fi at all. But not only there wasn't Wi-Fi there, there was just no Wi-Fi through the whole time. Like, so I was the only teammate that you have for that event and I wasn't there when you won the thing. So I have incredibly big, uh, how do you say, regrets for that thing because, you know, I just really wanted to be there, you know. I think we're great as a team because we're a hard worker and in magic, especially these days, uh, hard work pays off and uh, we both work so much that at the end uh, we'll always will have an edge over the field because other people in magic right now even at highest level I don't think work as much as we do so I think that's why we are doing so well recently I know that I have a great teammate that will uh, will will help me there <laughs>